So my name is Julia Lutner. I'm the mammography technologist at May Grant located in Lancaster. If you were to come in for a mammogram, this is what you should expect. Okay, so this is our waiting room. You'd come right in here. There is a cabinet. There's large cabinets for you to put your stuff in. Only your shirt and bra comes off, okay? Uh, you can leave your jewelry on, all that stuff's fine. Um, we provide gowns for you. The gowns open up in the front. Um, if you have deodorant on, no problem. We, we suggest you take it off beforehand, but we understand if people come from work, stuff like that. So we have deodorant remover right here, as well as deodorant for when you're leaving, okay? So you're not stinky. All right, so once all that's done, we come right on in this room here, and it's really nice because it segues into the same room. There's no waiting area. This is the big old mammo machine. Don't be intimidated. I'll have you have a seat here, answer some history questions, uh, four or five questions. Once that's done, we'll get you started. So I do about two pictures on each side. Um, if I do more pictures, it's not because I see something. I don't want anyone to worry. Um, it's because I want to make sure I'm getting everything else, getting everything in there. I do a front one and a side one on both. I do one at a time, okay? With the 3D technology, this guy up here, this arcs. And as it's arcing, it's taking pictures and slices. So what that does is it renders a 3D image of the breast for the radiologist to be able to see very clearly um, through, all, through all different densities. Um, hitting cancers and, and stuff like that. So 3D is definitely the way to go for breast imaging. A lot of questions I get is, do mammograms hurt? They are, it, 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 to, to explain it better, it almost just feels like pressure. Um, the machines have come a long way um, from when they first started. I believe this all used to be metal at one point, which is terrifying. But these machines have come a long way and it's only, it's quick, super quick. Um, and it's well worth it, it's well worth it. I'm a radiologist who specializes in breast imaging, period, a post biopsy digital mammogram with. Basically, that means every day I'm reading mammograms or anything related to the breast and trying to diagnose breast cancer if it's there. Ms. Farinell? Hi, I'm Dr. Copet. How are you? Hi, Dr. Copet. How are you? Nice to meet you. Any patient who comes in with a problem, I'll speak to. Anybody who I find a problem on a mammogram, I'll speak to. Help me figure out what's causing what we saw in the mammogram and then help us. Something I think is very important is to be very honest from the start because I, I want patients to trust me not just that day but in the future. So hopefully they come back next year, the following year, and I tell them everything's fine, they'll believe that too. I will, absolutely. I deal with all women who have any kind of breast related issue. Um, and the cancer patients, you know, become um, like family. I, it's almost like a private practice, family practice in a way, because I see them back year after year after year. Okay, great. In March of 2011, I was actually at home on a Wednesday night watching American Idol with my family, and um, I reached over because uh, the strap on my dress had fallen down, and I, when I lifted it up, I felt something. Thank you. Okay. Okay. The next day was a Thursday. I came to work like I always do. And I said to another radiologist I work with and trust that I wanted her to do an ultrasound. We did a mammogram, and sure enough, there was something there. And she biopsied it that afternoon. We pretty much knew at that point that it was going to be cancer based on how it looked. My husband, Steve, was incredibly supportive and continues to be. He was just literally there, um, never leaving my side. Whatever pain I had with being diagnosed with cancer, they really shared with me. All of them, family, friends, you know, I could see it in their eyes, their tears, their hugs. I felt it and I, it's amazing to feel that support because I knew that I had an amazing husband, loving husband, and two loving boys, and my parents and my sisters, and my friends and my colleagues, but that forces everybody to kind of come together and you just feel like they're like lifting you up and wrapping their arms around you at the same time. Oh yeah, the irony of the fact that my specialty is breast cancer diagnosis and that 
I now have breast cancer that I'm getting treated for, and I'm trying to also diagnose other people and take care of them with cancer. How are you? Hi, nice to meet you. You too. We can see. I'm just gonna explain it's what I saw. It's much easier for me to connect with patients now. And you see, um, the breast tissue itself is this white, fluffier stuff, but if you look right here... I think it's part of my job as a doctor to, to go beyond these walls, and as much as somebody needs me help, it's, it's actually an honor and a privilege to do that, and I think for me, living beyond breast cancer as an organization was a natural fit. It's, to me, very patient interactive, very patient focused, and I really believe if we educate people, it's more than half the battle. So I think that's what they do, and they do it really well. It's the only organization that provides you with that kind of information once you're diagnosed. I have felt incredibly supported by LVBC, and even going to things like Yoko on the Steps, now, again, as a survivor, I went before that, changes, and again, makes me feel very connected. Paragraph procedure colon after sterile preparation of the skin and use of five What drives me every day is I believe in what I do, but I believe that mammography saves lives. And I believe that if I come to work every day and do my job the way I'm supposed to, that I'm gonna save lives. What we saw in the mammogram and then help us decide what to do next, okay? I think that feeling like you're gonna save somebody's life, wow, that's what drives me.